January 11th was the day they all launched. And now we're, we're, I guess we're nine, 10 months since then. And they've definitely defied our expectations. So Bitcoin Zella stands out with its simplicity and clarity. We've crafted an experience that anyone can dive into, whether you're a crypto expert or just a new to the crypto world. Now, guess who keeps his eye on us? The author of best-selling book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki. And we want to take this opportunity and thank all the people who trusted us. And we read every comment. And the best part, it's free. Subscribing now means you will get all new information for free. Don't just follow the trends, stay ahead of them. Subscribe to Bitcoin Zella today and enjoy the new edge. Eric Balkunas is a senior ETF analyst at Bloomberg Intelligence focused on exchange-traded funds. Writes research for Bloomberg Terminal, he discusses Bitcoin ETF surpassing expectations. With $24 billion in net flows and unprecedented growth of Bitcoin ETF versus traditional assets. James and I, James Seifert and I had predicted they'd get 10 to 15 billion in net flows in the first year. They're at 24 billion. Um, now, they could come down. That net flow number is fluid. If people were to pull out, like, let you know, the, the election is a big variable. Let's say there's some kind of a crisis uh, and Bitcoin has a downturn. It's, we still could be right. <laughs> That said, I think I think it's looking good because there's been a couple downturns, and the flows that net number has held real tough. Um, the holders are definitely good at holding in the ETF case, so I, I think it's it's amazing what they did. They broke all kinds of records, no matter what metric you looked at. They broke the record or were close. Um, and if you kind of take a step back and think about it, you know it kind of makes sense. Um, first of all, these products are. ETFs are the premier vehicle uh, for investors right now uh, who are, let's say, normal investors, 60-40 types. They love the ETFs. I mean, they can't get enough of it. It's like putting your song on Spotify. You know, it is where the fish are biting. It's where the listeners are. So to have Bitcoin and ETF just puts them in the sort of main area where uh, mainstream investors can get it. So I didn't think they grow this quickly because, you know, like I said, $24 billion, it took gold like four or five years to get to 24 billion in cumulative net flows, just for some perspective. So um, there's a lot of superlatives we could use here, but my God, what a what a launch. Um, and it's just the beginning. I think this category is going to continue to grow um, over the next five or 10 years. Um, I think there's obviously variables we don't know. There's black swans. There's really good bar variables, some catalysts. Um, but I think at the end of the day, it seems like this is an exposure that a lot of normal 60-40 investors are are looking to get. And I think having BlackRock and Fidelity and some of these other big firms behind it, sort of giving their okay, is is major. And, you know, them saying that, hey, this is actually a decent thing you can put in your portfolio. To me, the ETF undid all of the SBF um, price depreciation and reputational damage. I think the ETF came around and in good timing, and it kind of like the price is back to where it was and the reputation kind of it's got legitimized now. So I think it's it's I think everybody benefited from the ETF. Certainly they're getting their flows. They get a little tiny part of that as a fee. And the Bitcoin people got a lot of they erased a lot of that drama and damage, I think, with the ETFs. The cryptocurrency community is celebrating the victory of former President Donald Trump in the 2024 United States presidential election while officials are finalizing election results. Trump, the Republican candidate, declared victory on election night, November 6, pledging to usher in a golden age for America. I'm excited to be your 47th and your 45th president, Trump said during what appeared to be a victory speech. At the time of writing, Trump has 277 electoral college votes, more than the 270 required to win, according to the Associated Press. Meanwhile, his Democratic opponent, Vice President Kamala Harris, has 224 electoral votes. Harris now has no viable path to victory in the election. International leaders, including French President Emmanuel Macron, have begun congratulating Trump on his anticipated win. The crypto market is also responding to the election outcome. Trump's win could be a promising sign for the cryptocurrency industry in the U.S., as Trump has repeatedly expressed support of crypto and branded himself as a pro-crypto candidate. Trump has repeatedly promised to end the war on crypto if elected and promised to make the U.S. the crypto capital of the planet if he wins the presidential election. 
In July, Trump headlined the Bitcoin 2024 conference in Nashville, Tennessee, where he pledged to fire current U.S. Securities and Exchange Chair Gary Gensler on his first day back in office. SEC Commissioner Hester Pierce, who is known for her supportive stance on crypto, is believed to be a potential contender to take Gensler's spot. Trump also promised to launch a strategic Bitcoin reserve in the U.S. to make sure that the U.S. government holds 200,000 BTC acquired from enforcement actions. In line with his pro-Bitcoin stance, Trump also made big promises to the crypto mining in the U.S., repeatedly voicing his strong support of the industry and willingness to make the U.S. a global leader in Bitcoin mining. First of all, I dedicated my career to ETFs. And in the Lugano conference, which I saw you at, which uh, you did a good job interviewing the wife of Julian Assange, by the way, okay. for anybody who missed that, I think it's, it's probably on, it's probably on video somewhere. But anyway, I had get, I had a 40 minute presentation, uh, 30 minutes. And my main message was that ETFs are not necessarily Wall Street and that they are very, they are a disruptive powerhouse. Wall Street doesn't necessarily like ETFs. They don't charge a lot. They don't make a lot of money for the industry. They are lean and mean, right? They're hell for issuers, but heaven for investors. And so to me, the ETF and Bitcoin have a lot of spiritual connection in that regard. And I, I wanted to make that point. It's a powerful combo. So I have seen a lot of launches and I've not no doubt that ETFs are penetrating a lot of asset classes. They just happen to penetrate this one a little quicker. So for example, if you take the amount of each asset that ETFs own, they own 9% of all the stocks in the US. They own 4% of the bonds. They own 1% of all the gold above ground. But they already own about 6% of all the Bitcoin within a year. So remember, they've been at, they were 30, 30 years to get to 9% of stocks. So they're already halfway. So in terms of their impact in an asset class, they've never had this fast of an impact and what's ultimately going to be a greater impact because I think that 5% is going to go way past nine uh, pretty quickly. And so I, as I told the crowd, we're, we're married now. Um, there's nothing, you know, you could, you know, you can call me trad fi, the suit, you know, boomer or whatever you want, but I'm not going away. You know, we are, we are here now. We are joined at the hip and um, for better or worse. And in my opinion, I would just look at it as the ETF is essentially somewhat playing the role of the exchange <clears throat> it's just an, it's just for people who don't want to go all the way and get their own wallet this is a way to outsource it it just happens to be a very a high value proposition so for people looking to outsource uh this to me is going to be the premier in intermediary uh of people who want bitcoin who don't want to get it themselves and i just i just look at it like that but i certainly i just think that the the whole like this is wall street try to buy boomer um, I don't think all that's necessarily true. I think ETFs are favored by younger investors. Again, Wall Street doesn't love them. So I just think they're a little mischaracterized sometimes. I think anything relative to Bitcoin can seem TradFi from coming from that world. But ETFs are uh, not like other things. They're not really like a hedge fund or a mutual fund. They're they're much more lean, mean, and, uh, and they're disrupting the heck out of the market that they operate in, right? They're going to take almost a trillion dollars in this year. So that 24 billion is just one tall, tiny part of a trillion dollars in flows. So mm -hmm. I have watched them do this to many asset classes, but not at this pace and not this intensely. With Trump's victory, the anti-Bitcoin movement in the United States has died, according to Dennis Porter, co-founder of the Satoshi Action Fund. The USA will be the most pro-Bitcoin nation in the world. Porter wrote in an ex-post commenting on the presidential win. The cryptocurrency community has been largely supporting Trump over Harris, despite Trump's U-turn on Bitcoin. The founders of major U.S. crypto exchanges like Gemini and Kraken publicly endorsed Trump, donating millions to support him as the only pro-crypto candidate. Notable figures supporting Trump's campaign include Cardano founder Charles Hoskinson, BitGo CEO Mike Belshi, Tron founder Justin Sun, and Bitcoin Foundation founder Charlie Shrem. Amid growing optimism over Trump's victory in the election, the crypto market has made a historic reaction, with Bitcoin breaking past its historical highs and briefly touching $75,000 on November 6. We had the first Bitcoin president going to the White House, which is why we saw a new all-time high last night, Bitcoin influencer Anthony Pompliano said on X.
and do not forget to subscribe to Bitcoin Seller. The most important news will reach your inbox on a daily basis and for free. I do not know why you have not subscribed yet. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more daily updates. Remember, knowledge is power, and we're here to empower you on your financial journey. Until next time, happy investing!